and welcome back to a new video today i wanted to quickly show you a cool little application called h2r graphics uh, which is here to record graphics which is this little uh youtube channel that i came across and a maker who's built this little app that does some really really cool stuff as an overlay generator for obs i thought about this idea a couple of years back but i don't have the uh, programming skills to be able to pull some of this uh, stuff off but um, it's kind of close to what I wanted to do for some overlays inside of OBS. A bit more dynamic, but these are still pretty useful. And I know there's a new version coming with chat integration as well. I've had a lot of students asking me about how do I get chat live into my OBS stream. So I know that's coming. I just wanted to tell you about this today, version 008. I think that's coming in the next version with the, with the chat overlays. But um, we'll get this set up today anyway, so you can see what it does. First thing that you want to do before you get into uh, playing around with this is double check that your security and privacy settings, if you're using uh, Mac OS X Catalina, is under screen recording. Make sure that OBS is ticked because you won't be able to capture the chroma key box from this, which is what we need to be able to make this work. I had a few problems with that with the recording, so I want to get that off my plate uh, before I get started. I'm not on camera today because it's very hot here, and if I have the lights on, I will probably melt into the chair. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up this chroma key box. So that's just going to create this window all of green. Now, the reason why it's all green is that we're going to be gen locking or chroma keying out this background and then just leaving us with what our else is left so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go into sources i'm going to click on the plus i'm going to go to window capture and i'm going to drop that window capture in like this and then i'm going to select a window i'm going to have a look for the chroma which is here look h2r chroma there you go now you might need to play around with this a little bit to get the size of this right and I found that actually uh, moving this directly it affects it inside of OBS so we kind of want it 69 because we're going to pull it out so it's it fits onto our desktop at uh, at full HD so we need to pull that out a little bit if you just keep on pulling the corners out then you won't get everything on the screen so I kind of want to get rid of that chroma at the top because that's not going to be on there and I'm going to pull this down a little bit more so it fits. Notice I'm pulling this window down, not this one. Then I'm going to lock it to the stage so I can't play with it and mess around with it. I'm going to right click and I'm going to do filters. And then in effect filters, I'm going to add chroma key. And when I select this, the green will disappear. That means I'm keying out the green. So you'll just get black on the stage. Now where this is really cool is that H2R, this here to record, uh, I think it's a YouTube channel, I know he's a guy who does live streaming events, and he actually does this for companies, and he's, he's built this little tool to help him do overlays and things. Uh, and I really wanted to show it to you today because I, was, I just did a video about lower thirds the other week, and then I found it in this version, and this has got some incredibly cool features. For instance, being able to show lower thirds like that how cool is that now you'll notice behind me is that it was playing it in the window and then capturing it onto the screen so all i'm doing is capturing that window and then anything i do in here can show up on there so you can have things like tickers which is really really cool so you can update this text live on here there's a bunch of different options of changing the title text and the color and the wonderful thing about this is it's dynamic so you could just overlay that you could type these things in while you're playing a game or maybe doing a live video chat with somebody and you can bring up a person's name you can just hide that we can even have a, a timer so if you want to oh i need to put a hours let me just do this and do show so you can have like a countdown timer somewhere and if you wanted to you could create multiple sources i guess and, and position these in a certain way so that you could have this clock a certain size etc so you can play around with that to your heart's content let's get rid of that you can have a logo so we can show like a logo on the screen you can't really see it on there because it's a really tiny logo um, messages you can kind of do um, messages as well so there's like a light you can 
position that I presume I can't remember how you do that oh here you go there's like additional options here so you can position that where you want it to be on your screen you can make it bigger uh, very cool little tool it's even got custom CSS if you want to style that a certain way and we'll hide that this one though this one is the the best one of the lot and although it doesn't have the overlay for chat yet uh, I know that's coming so the ability to uh, bring in your YouTube chat for instance and overlay that on the screen is really useful and a lot of people are looking for that uh, something reliable that works but what I love about this is that they've even created a section for a live event where you're doing a live stream where you're taking a break and normally when you're taking a break you just uh, mute the audio and maybe leave the live stream camera running well they've integrated this ability to have a google sheet and when you update this google sheet you can actually put all the dates and times and who's going to be speaking next so for instance here i've just refreshed and you can see this is a, the default template they've got and then the idea with that is that it will show the template i've had some issues pulling this in so i'm still playing around with this but it will show the schedule on screen and who's next based on what time of day it is uh, and i think that's just that alone really makes this software incredibly useful if you're using it for live events or even just a streaming live event where you're the organizer being able to pull up and edit a google spreadsheet and have that all ready ahead of time and knowing who's coming up next uh, i also saw on github a little program that'll sit in your tray bar and it will remind you who's coming up next so you can kind of be on schedule which i i think that's just amazing to be in a piece of free software and then you've got all the different settings here, uh, different themes you can load, etc. You can control this. If we go back to the main page, you can control this using a um, these things called OSC commands. So if you are a really hardcore producer of live events, you'll feel really at home with this stuff because it's got all those commands. You can run a, a local server and actually activate things through stream decks and things like that. So very very cool tool if you're looking to do something a little bit more advanced with your um with your obs you can do all kinds of things with this and i'm sure you'll pick it up really really easily just do a search for h2r graphics the next version definitely comes with youtube chat and i'm gonna probably send it shoot me an email and see if you can integrate other ones like twitch and mixer and things like that all right i just wanted to give you a heads up about this if you haven't seen it yet cool little tool especially if you're doing live streaming with obs